So here we have a log question. We're first asked to evaluate log to the base 5 of 25 and then solve this complicated looking equation where we notice log to the base 5 of 25 is tucked in on the right hand side here. So let's have a look at the first part of this. Evaluate log to the base 5 of 25. Now, if you know how to read this, you can just write that down straight away. If you read it as what power do you raise 5 to to get 25, the answer is 2. Why? Because 5 squared is 25. Let's go back over that. You can read this as saying what power do you raise 5 to to get 25? And the answer is 2. So there's something you have to be familiar with. What power do you raise b2 to get m? Answer n. b to the power n is equal to m. These are two equivalent statements. This is the log statement, this is the power statement. But it's useful to read this statement as what power do you raise b to to get m? And the answer is n. So what power do you raise 5 to, to get 25? The answer is 2. So let's move on to solving, attempting to solve this equation. Log to the base 4 of x plus log to the base 4 of x minus 1, x minus 6 is equal to log to the base 5 of 25. So first thing to notice on the left hand side, the bases are four, different base on the right hand side, but this is the number that we've just worked out as being two. Log to the base four of x plus log to the base four of x minus six. If you add two logs, multiply the two numbers. It's one of the laws of logs. If you've got log of m plus the log of n, then you'll have log of m times n. That's assuming that the base is the same, which is the case here. So we've now ended up with another one of these log statements, and let's read it as we did before. What power do you raise 4 to to end up with this number? Well, the answer is 2. So you'll end up with this number, x times x minus 6, if you raise 4 to the power 2. What power do you raise 4 to, to get x times x minus 6? The answer is 2. So there's x times x minus 6 equals 4 squared, which is 16. So we're ending up with a quadratic equation, x squared minus 6x equals 16, or take 16 from both sides, minus 16. Hopefully this will factorise. x times x gives us that x squared. And for the 16, I think 2 times 8 would be useful. Let's look at the outside 2, that 8x, and the inside 2, that 2x. Remember, we're trying to combine these to get negative 6x. So it'll be a negative 8x plus a 2x. Minus the 8x plus 2x. And you always multiply this back out first outside inside last to go back to x squared minus 16 minus 6x minus 16. And you'll find that that does indeed multiply out to get that expression. So we've got two factors, x plus 2 times x minus 8. x plus 2 and x minus 8 multiply to give you 0. One or other of these two must be 0. x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0. So x would be negative 2 or x would be equal to 8. But in the question we're told that x is greater than 6. So x equals 8 is the only solution. So you would need to clearly state that you're not including x equals negative 2 there. So the answer is x equals 8.